Hello and welcome back to Starmate. My name is Raben Schild and we are on the Star Squadron server. Instead of uh, doing this type of work, <laughs> in the meantime I did uh, this type of work. I'm kind of outlining the base, yeah, or the, the first part of this base. I will, don't know, use it as a room for machines and power production and power storage and all that stuff and maybe for some docks and above this i think i hope it ends there it will go a bit bit more to down there i'm let me give you the profile a bit here it kind of looks like like a rudder or something from a from a ship. I'm not sure if I want to go in this line in the in this diagonal line anymore or if I want to straighten it up here maybe diagonal. I think that that would look better. And then we top that off uh, put a a pillar or a shaft on that. And to that we attach some, I'm not sure what yet, but uh, docks and uh, living spaces and all that stuff. I don't want to go too big. It's, it sounds uh, weird when I'm already starting out with forms like that and sizes like that and all that stuff. But I don't want to go too big and maybe have it more like a, patched thing, patched together thing. But first we have to add some more, uh, we have to add some more uh, <laughs> factories. I had one of my, my subscribers and I, give me a sec. One of my subscribers gave me a tip, whoopsie. I told you about bullwhip making. <laughs> By the name of Oh Rumkat twenty third I don't know. Uh, so, sorry, I, I sorry if I butcher your name, but <laughs> He gave me the tip and I figured that out, but I wanted to mention him because he gave me this tip. And I think people that give good tips deserve shout outs, although I figured it out on myself. Uh, I had this line running between the factory here and between the capsule refinery that changed. You can see that. I did that by using an extra, an extra, um here uh, this thing there the <laughs> the uh inventory so a, a cargo cargo inventory here inventory block um because it seems that if you connect factories to inventories or to cargo inventories cargo block thingies they don't do these lines and that's a good thing. So I just connected this inventory to the capsule refinery. It uh, kind of this thing overtook the whole inventory stack that's there. And that works out fine. Now I don't have these, these very, very bad lines here. And I really have to thank that subscriber. Now what I want to do next is I need power production, I need power storage, I need shields. I have some, but I want to have more. And that's why we want to set this up. In the end of the video, by the way, we want to do something else also. I recently heard some news and we will have to take a look at something. But let me first do this. So we want to change the production again. We go to shield and then we go to shield capacitator, activate that 
and for the next one we go to this and say change to shield use slot shield recharger that works out too we need to also connect these to this inventory block i moved that thing to have that a bit more in in range kind of you can see that this is the inventory that was there before i moved that to back here we later want to add more and more of the functional blocks and also the non-functional blocks later i maybe want to be able to produce all the materials on my own without going to buy anything although i looked into it and i'm kind of a bit uh the problem is i i don't need so many activation modules for example that i really think that i need to produce them on the other hand i think it would be neat to really have everything produced on for myself kind of so maybe i will set i talked about that in the last episode that i want to set the stuff up so that I can turn the production off and on and I want to definitely do that for some stuff too where I maybe really can go and say okay I want uh, I want an activation module I don't have any more give me just 10 uh, wait for it until it's done turn it off and then come back to it when I when I need it again I I don't know yet let us see if the production is running. Oh, the production is not running. Maybe I'm missing materials. Uh, that could be the case. But that's okay. I want to set it up so that it runs automatically. And when I get the materials, I can just... You saw that I can just store them down here. These, by the way, are materials that are not used up for anything. So I can go out with my salvager or my, my miner and get materials and then they automatically yeah, get transformed into whatever we need. I will have to search for materials for the shields. Yeah, the shields have a relatively easy... It might be very hard to get that stuff. You can see that Dremit capsules and Surtis capsules. Um, I don't know if there if that stuff is rare, but at least it's not like with a uh, with uh, hull modules where you have to produce hull and color and then have to add an extra capsule and then this and that and here and then you can get your advanced hull and uh, crazy stuff crazy stuff that that will take time set up all the hull colors or something like that 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 will be a very difficult thing by the way you can see here how much uh, gray hull i already got that's a good amount just for lurking around a bit in my station and building i i will have to get better hull for the station because uh, yeah it would be neat to have a bit of yeah a bit of armor here and all that stuff the the normal hull is too easily destroyed i say okay what i want to do here is go and set up the energy production energy no okay let me search through the bar here it should be in here i think i i already i already saw it in here it, it i might be okay here we have the shields we can make the warp gates here. That's the thing I want to do. Warp gates. We at one point I don't know. I want to maybe. Oh, 
<laughs> turret docking. The, the old turret docking is still in here. Maybe it's the wrong factory. I thought it is this one. Maybe it is the standard factory. Let us search for that. Let us search for that, that energy. I hope I'm not. Oh, is it in the basic factory? That's crazy. V back into the. Oh, it's called power, I think, or is it called power capacitator? But <laughs> we were we were right. That's a that the that's a good thing that. Um, I totally, that was totally purpose. <laughs> so yeah, I, I remember that it is called power, but I'm at least right with it being in the, in the standard, in the basic factory. So again, set this up and uh, this, I will, for now, I will not connect it to anything. I will do that in the end. Uh, powered. I need that too. And notice that at one point I kind of ran out of power. That definitely needs to change. So this. Oh no! I know where I'm. I know where I'm wrong. I know where I'm wrong. See, never run, never touch a running system. This, this is the right, the right menu they need to pull from. And now uh, this one pulls from here. Do we have production now? We have production now. Fantastic. That's good. That should get pulled out and put into the container here. And it runs relatively fast. Good thing. That's a nice setup that works out. The next thing. Uh, I don't think that I need to set up other things at the moment. We could see, we could see one more thing search for it and see if ah, let me deactivate that there are these um, these capsules you use to harden your materials so uh, I want to go and use a better give me the advanced factory advanced factory and then we use advanced black advanced armor just to have a nice production recipe we need these advanced hardeners and what do we need for that alloyed metal mesh fertikin ingots see th that's the next thing the next thing we that is all the steps we need to do for black advanced armor for dang shields we just need a lot of materials but but this this is crazy so we need to make fertikin ingots then we need to make the advanced hardeners also we need to make gray hull we need to make black paint make black hull out of the out of the that uh, need black made need to make black hull out of the out of the normal gray hull then make black standard armor out of it and then make black advanced armor out of it this is so many steps and so many factories i need for that that i'm I don't know. I don't know if that is needed. Okay, we will first make 
uh, we will what I want to definitely want to set up is the hardeners so advanced hardeners and standard hardener with that advanced uh, hardener is that in here yeah it's in here okay and there should be I don't know maybe there is the A standard hardener? No, hardener. It's in the other. In the standard factory. It, it that, that should be obvious <laughs> to me. Okay, change production. Uh, standard hardener. So, the standard hardener just needs a connection to uh, this and then we take out the hardener to get the normal standard hardener that's good this one needs more where can we produce fertikine ingots Is that right? Um, I, I, I really don't understand why that is the case. Why I have to go through all this to make... Am I using the wrong... Maybe I can use this. Ingots are not made in here. In the basic factory, again? Or am I there? Ah, fatigue in, in, with, with an eye. Fatigue in ingot. So, this is the this takes this and this takes this so this is connected to here and here and this is connected to here now everything hopefully no oh, okay i let me go and take a look at that it should work now It does. Nice. How many fertigine ingots? Wow. Wow. Why? Why is that the case? Why is this? The, the, the advanced armor is so hard to produce. I don't know why. I really, I really, really have to question that. I really, really have to question that, why that's the case. That's why I really like just Grey Hull. You at least don't need to make any, <laughs> you at least don't make, need to make any colors or something like that. Maybe I set the colors up somewhere here because I, I know how to produce the colors, but that is just, that is just too crazy. I also have this space here. Maybe maybe I use this for the for the don't know for these for colors and for these hardeners and whatever whatever I <laughs> else have to do here. I don't know. Okay, the thing I want to do now is um I heard something and I want to take a look if that is true and for that we will take the big ship with this the dread because I don't know if I will be safe out there otherwise and it will be a bit of a longer trip 
so let us go and by the way the bridge is still not repaired still not repaired i'm i'm still missing out on on materials for that and that's why i also want to why i also want to produce the the advanced the advanced armor ah this ship is so slow maybe this ship needs updates i'm not sure but maybe we go back into this ship and repair it and put some upgrades on it we will see let me take a look that works out ah, it's coming together i say it's coming together good let me put up the map and then uh, go and plot a path that's what i wanted to do so i heard let me take a look i have to bring my head to the side this how far is that? It must be hundreds and hundreds of kilometers. 202 kilometers. Okay, I will fly there. You will uh, not have to endure the <laughs> this, this whole crazy ride that I have to do now because of the bigger sectors. Okay, we will meet us there. That is nice. That's a good thing. The capital planet is here. Um, there seem to be some graphical issues. I don't know. But the capital planet is here. There's the sleazy blade and Gmodism's uh, town and stuff. And it seems everybody has, has their stuff still here. So we can still work on the Hall of Justice. If it will stay the Hall of Justice, we don't know. But I really like the building and that's a good thing. So we might be able to still work on that. Otherwise, I have. I hope you don't, didn't hear that. We have, a, for some reason, a merchant comes every Thursday and brings uh, vegetables and uh, fruits to this area and he comes with a van and then he honks his horn like a crazy man <laughs> and he, he parks on on the back of my house is a is a is a square a small square where he is standing and then he's honking like crazy <laughs> Everything's fine. So the capital planet is back. We can uh, work on that a bit more. I thought we have lost it, but that's a good thing. We we have it back. Can work on that, and uh, yeah, maybe incorporate that in some of the next uh, some of the next episodes. Good thing. I'm I'm really happy. <laughs> good, good. Okay, people. Um, I hope you liked the episode. Um, it is. Yeah, not too long or longer. I don't know. I hope you liked the episode. If you liked it, then please leave a like. And I hope to see you in the next videos. See ya, guys.